What's up guys? Wanted to do a video today. I got asked a question about how much effort you have to put in to be a high level fighter and how much time it takes. And obviously this is different for each individual, but I'll be honest with you, if, if you're trying to be a high level fighter or a high level anything, the effort is, is gonna be needed. There's gonna be a lot of effort put out and it's gonna be a lot of sacrifice. And honestly, a lot of people that don't have the grit to do it, to be honest with you. It's not that they don't have the ability. I, I've seen people come in the gym and come into martial arts, come into fighting for off and on for years, and they do have a lot of attributes that you, that are needed and, and that are helpful, but they don't have the grit. They don't have the. They have so many other interests. They one one month they want to fight, the next month they want to go to a concert, and they want to hang out with their friends, and they want to have a social life, and it's very hard to do both, especially consistently. You can go concert, you can go hang out with your friends, you can do stuff like that every now and then, but as a high level fighter, especially if you're starting late in life, guys. And when I say late nowadays, an 18 year old is late. There was a, there was an 18 year old in the UFC the other day. So you're not going to get to that level by going out all the time by not training, you know, constantly. I know, I remember before I got in the UFC, I was training probably on average about two and a half to three hours a day and I still had a full-time job. So I had no life. I would go to work, I would train, I would go to work all day, I would train in the evening, two, two, two and a half hours to three hours every day, five, five days a week. Um, and then I would train, you know, with two hours on Sunday as well, or Saturday as well. So I was training, you know, six hours, uh, six times a week, at minimum two hours, sometimes three. And that was with a full time job. And I had no personal life. I, I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, didn't party much, would go out every now and then. Um, but as a whole, and that was because I started late, you know, it was the biggest part when you're coming up is trying to catch up to, to guys that have been training their whole life. You know, I, I don't think a lot of people talk about that enough, but the hardest part I remember for me when I was coming up was trying to catch up to dudes that had been doing this their whole life. Because it sucks because to a degree, they, they can have a social life. When you've wrestled since you were five or 10 years old, you have so much more of a head start than someone. Like I started training at 20 years old. Some of these kids come to me at 18 years old and think they're young you're not young anymore guys uh there was an 18 year old in the ufc this year that's um there's plenty of 18 year olds in, in big organizations 19 20 year olds so eight coming to someone 18 years old is not young so if you think you want to be a fighter um i would say for sure the sacrifices are going to be a lot and you're going to have to figure out if you really want to put put in the work and, and do it because being tough is not enough. Being athletic is not enough. It's it's a it's a grind. It's a grind, and it's a time consuming, and it's it's very you're going to sacrifice a lot. It's not something you're just gonna. It's not like track or football where you can just run fast so you get to play a, a good position in, in football where you're strong or you're strong or you can jump high or you're tall in basketball. In fighting, especially in those sports, uh, another thing about the other sports is a lot of people start those younger. Like, there, there's kids come to me right now, 19, 20 years old, and say they want to be in the UFC. Well, it's actually possible. But if you come to me or you come to a coach at 20 years old and say you want to go to the NFL, well, that shit ain't happening. Without the amateur, without the playing in school, without playing in college, same thing in basketball, baseball, any other sport. Fighting is the one sport you can start later in life, but you're not going to have a life. If you're someone who trained your whole life and you you did boxing, you did taekwondo, you did jiu-jitsu, you did wrestling, you did these things when you were a kid, you do have a big leg up. So you will be able to have more of a social life than than some of the other guys that start later. But if you start later in life, you're not going to have a life. Like my whole 20s. I, I post a lot of videos now, you know, I'm older, I'm 36. I post a lot of videos and pictures of me hunting and fishing and stuff. And I grew up doing that, but for the majority of my 20s, I, I stopped doing it. From the age of about 19, I started training boxing about two, two months before my 20th birthday. And from, so basically right before I was 20 until I was about 29 years old, I basically did nothing. 
but train. And it was just something I had to do to uh, catch up the guys that had been training their whole life. It's so hard to catch up to the guys, the amount of reps they have, people who've been doing martial arts their entire life. They, they may come to, when you're 10 years old, you go to, let's say you go to Jiu Jitsu or Taekwondo, you only do an hour of practice. But when you do an hour of practice, that adds up over, you know, a, eight, 10 year period to a lot of work versus someone who comes in later in life, they're going to have to train. They're, they're going to have to train it, you know, two, three hours a day just to try to catch up to you in the reps you did, you know, half your life. If you're someone who starts uh, younger, it can be done. You can catch up to people for sure, but you're just going to have to sacrifice a lot. And honestly, I don't think a lot of people have the grind to do it. They just, they don't have the grind to do it. They're they're, they have too many other interests, and it's it's uphill battle. One way you can you can supplement. I, I do it a lot with my guys when they're coming in, and they're not. They're just starting, you know, 18, 19, 20, 22 years old, and they say they want to be a fighter and they want to go to a high level. One way I would say is fight a lot. Take a bunch of fights. So you got to stay in shape, and obviously make sure your coach is matching you right. But. Um, if someone, I know people that train their whole life, like on the flip side of, of training your whole life, I know people that train their whole life, but like maybe they do grappling and they, they train grappling their whole life. But when it comes to actually fighting, when the, when the MMA fight, when they, and they decide to go to MMA, they're scared to get punched in the face. They're afraid to get hit. So the way I countered that coming up is I had about 20 amateur boxing fights and I had them all in a year and a half. And then I transitioned to MMA. And of, of course, things were different different back then that was this was 2009 um but i counted it i had you know i had about 27 amateur fights in about a two and a half year period so i just fought as much as possible and i and i would fight guys with way more experience than me but i was more relaxed i had competition experience because nothing can pl replace ring time even good sparring hard sparring nothing can replace getting in there you know dealing with the nerves you know walking out Seeing people, you know, cheer your name, seeing people boo you, uh, the nerves of, uh, you know, a big crowd, nothing can replace that. And when you first start fighting, you're going to have adrenaline dumps and stuff like that. But that's one way you can catch someone who's been training their whole life and, or been training way longer than you have is have more fights than them. If you have, you know, let's say you have 20 boxing and kick kickboxing fights combined right and this person's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu but it has been grappling for 10 years but they're scared to get hit that that can help you a bit big time for sure still you know the skill set matters drastically you know if, if they get you down you're in trouble if they let's say they were a grapple that was afraid to get hit so fighting is one way to counter you know fighting consistently and being very active and learning how to deal with the nerves and the pressure of of fight day and in 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 the walk and you know the experience of you know fighting in front of a crowd that can really help you but it's still if you're coming to train and you want to be a fighter guys you're not going to have a big life here it's going to be if you want to be a high level especially if you're starting late in life if you're starting late in life it's a big sacrifice and a lot of people have the ability they have the athletic ability they have the um, mental toughness even but some of them have other interests they don't want to train hard and understand there's someone out there that's just as athletic as you someone out there that's training just as hard as you that's just as mentally tough as you but they're also doing more right they're they're, they're training more they're working harder they're doing more than than you are and when when you when you run into that other dog you know it, it's rough uh, my a lot of my students i think some of my students they're very they're very tough and they're they're very mean and they're 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 real fighters they have the stuff you can't teach but <clears throat> but what they what i think some of them fail to understand is that you're not the only dog in the yard. You may be the toughest guy in your gym, but there's someone out there that's just as tough. But they do they, they do more drills. They do their, their technique is better. They um, they've been training longer. Um, so it, there's a lot of variables to make it to a high level. But realistically, if you're trying to make it to a high level, it's going to be a lot of sacrifice, a lot of a lot of birthday parties you're not going to get to go to, a lot of a lot of. Uh, events you're not going to get to go to a lot of parties a lot of clubs a lot of a lot of social life you're going to have to sacrifice if you want to make it to a high level and i don't know many people 
who who have who who do who do make it to high level without making quite a bit of sacrifice. Even if they have been training for a long time, they still have to make that sacrifice. But for sure, guys, if you're if you're gonna make it to a high level in fighting or anything at all, it's gonna be a big sacrifice and a lot of people don't have the grit to do it, so you just have to determine that within the first couple of years if this is something you really want to pursue at a high level. Let me know what you think, guys.